Hello, come on in and have a cup with Corliss. Today I want to share with you just a little tidbit about having um, the courage to be confident. Woo! Having the courage to be confident. It starts with what you're saying to yourself. What are you, have you paid attention to what you're saying to yourself? Are you saying that you're great? Are you saying that you can accomplish what you what you set your mind to do with God as your partner? Are you saying those things? Are, do you even take time to sit down and really think about what you want in a positive manner and think it out and think it through? This is a test. I want you to do this. Just five minutes. Set the, your phone timer on for five minutes and begin to think about where you want to go and what you want to be and what you want to do. Just start thinking about it. Keep your timer on and pay attention to how long it takes for your mind to start wandering in another direction. Just pay attention because we have to spend time reprogramming our mind to take us where we want to go. Five minutes and see, is it 30 seconds, one minute, two minutes? It doesn't, you know, I'm not saying you got to sit there and master the whole five minutes because there are so many thoughts that go through our mind. There is a statistic, st statistical number about how many thoughts we have per day. It's millions. So I'm not saying that uh, you have to master that, but pay attention to how long you can really think about where it is you want to go, what you want to do, what you want to have what you want to be, okay? Think. Thinking is the key. So, um, also, <clears throat> think about the people that you're hanging around. Courage. Courage to be confident to change your circle. Courage to be confident to change your circle. you got to have it. And pay attention to your circle. Is that circle that you're in, when I'm talking about circle, your circle of friends, relationships, is that circle feeding where you want to go? Is that circle, are you getting from it? What are you, uh, in, who are you influencing? And who is influencing you? Pay attention to that. Reevaluate that. And um, sometimes you've got to choose to be around or hang around the people who are where you want to go and what you want to be. Now, you may not can physically do it. <clears throat> they may be just somebody you listen to uh, their YouTube video. It may be somebody you read their book. I don't know, but you've got to impart their thoughts because they have been, they passed, paid the way already for them and they know what it is you could possibly be going through. So you want to just hang around their way of thinking to help change your thinking. Confidence. Confidence will give you the strength that you need to do anything as changing your circle, as taking one step forward. Confidence to take just one. I'm not talking about a quantum leap. I'm talking about one step. Don't give up on yourself. If you have thought about doing something in your life and you've thought about, you've attempted and you gave up because it didn't work. You gave up on yourself. Did you make, I want to stress to you, seven, at least seven attempts. Did you at least give yourself that much effort? Because every attempt you make, if you are physically, really, mentally, and emotionally moving forward toward what you want to be, do, or have, then even though you don't make it, the deadline is set and you didn't make it, or you, you know, got stuck, or you got off track and you jumped ship, whatever, get back on. Seven attempts before you can say, it just didn't work for me. Before you can even think about it. And that's just me as a human being saying seven attempts. God says, seven forgive seven i mean that's a number so don't let yourself off the hook <clears throat> and then prejudging prejudging causes you to retreat prejudging what's going to happen prejudging what somebody might say 
uh, maybe you need to go and, and, and get a business loan. You prejudging whether you can get the loan. Pre maybe you need to, maybe you want to just get a new vehicle. You're prejudging whether they will, you know, the vehicle you, let me just say this, you buy it and, and it be, won't be a limit. I don't know, but you're prejudging and prejudging causes you to retreat. You're the one that's stopping you're the one that's stopping. Keep moving forward. And I know we all go through rough times. It's just the way the world is. Things come up. Things happen. Emotional things happen. Losses come. Things happen. We go through rough times. But it takes courage to admit that you're going through a rough time. Even if it's in your mind, in your way of thinking. If you're having a struggle thinking, keeping focus, and believing that this is what you can do. Having the courage to reach up to someone who is where you want to be, have what you want to have, and do what you want to do. Having the courage to reach out and reach up. That is courage. Courage to admit that you need help. Oh my goodness. That is the beginning of a whole new door opening for you absolutely and then i want to finally close with this attempt just attempt attempting is better than no effort at all because you can attempt and attempt and attempt and you know what each attempt you're gaining knowledge you're gaining freedom you're gaining uh okay i did that you're gaining some confidence you may not have hit the goal. Don't, don't beat yourself up. Just keep making the attempt. Thanks for having a cup with Corliss. Bye-bye.